Hi guys, it's Pia from UCSD Medical Center Microbiology Lab and um, I decided to start with some YouTube videos for the CLS trainee students um, because I noticed that on YouTube there's nothing for them. So um, I'm hoping that this is going to help the CLS trainees um, with their microbiology rotation and hopefully um, help you um, in your studies and your training. So uh, today I've decided to do uh, two topics. The first one is gram stain technique as well as um, microbiology media. Okay, so let's start with the gram staining. So gram staining is very important in micro. It is considered the one of the fundamental tests. Um, it helps us figure out which route to go. If it's a gram positive organism, we're gonna go in one direction. If it's a gram negative organism, we're gonna take it in a different direction. So I'm just gonna read a little bit about this. The gram staining is a common technique used to differentiate two large groups of bacteria, that being gram positive and gram negative. And the gram stain procedure distinguishes between the gram positive and gram negative groups uh, by coloring um, the cells either like a pink or red versus a violet or like, like a bluish purple color. And I'm gonna show you that later. Uh, gram positive bacteria stain violet or like a darker blue due to the crystal violet, which is the first stain of the procedure. Um, because of the presence of a thick layer of peptidoglycan uh, in their cell wall composition. Uh, and then gram-negative bacteria stain more pinkish or red, uh, which is attributed to a thinner peptidoglycan wall, which doesn't retain the crystal violet stain um, during the decolorization, de decolorization process. So um, yes, I want to actually show you how we do it here in the lab and then after that I'm going to show you um, like a slide that has both gram positive and gram negative organisms. Okay? Hi everybody! So this is the gram stain procedure and as you can see we've got our four reagents here. The first one is crystal violet, the second one is the gram's iodine, the third step is the decolorizer and ours I think is acid acetone? Alcohol acetone. You can talk, Christina. It's cool. And then uh, saffronin. Okay, so we're going to start with the crystal violet, which is the first stain. All places say that you have to wait like a minute. We're going to cheat a little bit. And then I like to also mix mine with the iodine. The iodine acts as a mordant, and this together with the crystal violet makes it a much bigger complex. So the gram-positive organisms, which have a much thicker peptidoglycan layer, will um, take the crystal violet stain, okay? And then after that, we'll just rinse with regular DI water, like so. And then with the decolorizer, you're not supposed to leave this on too long, because then you might over-decolorize, so you just, just like a few seconds, and then use the water. And then your counter stain, which is the saffronin, will help us to visualize the gram-negative organisms, which I think has more lipopolysaccharides in their cell wall composition. Okay, so we're done here. And now we can go over to the scope and see our masterpiece. So now we can actually go to the scope. This is really tricky with a phone. Okay, but I know it's possible because I've done it before, people. Okay, ready? There it is. As you can see, this is a this is a QC slide of both Staph aureus and E. coli. The E. coli is kind of hard to see, but as you can see, there's gram positive coxie and gram negative rods under the scope. So voila. That's the gram stain technique. Okay, so now we're going to talk about media, microbiology media. There's a lot of media, but today we're going to talk about the more uh, common 
um, and all-purpose media that we use in the microbiology lab. Um, so I actually brought them out and I have them here. So let me turn the camera around so you can see it. Okay, so these are the four um, plates that I want to talk about with media. Um, the brand we use is Remmel. I'm not trying to make an endorsement one way or another. This is just what we use. Um, so the first one is blood auger plate and it's 5% sheep blood auger. And this is used as an enriched as well as a differential uh, media. And we use it to differentiate um, like beta hemolytic colonies from non hemolytic. You can also see uh, alpha hemolytic colonies on this. So this is like an, this is a general all purpose uh, media plate that we use and it's very useful and it's very handy. It's supposed to grow everything, gram positive and gram negative organisms. Okay. This is chocolate. This is a chocolate auger plate. It is not really made of chocolate, people. Don't eat it. Don't be silly. Um, it is made of 1% hemoglobin and supplements. It also has factors. There are no antibiotics in this. Um, so it should grow everything else just like uh, gram positive and gram negative, but it will also grow out fastidious organisms like Haemophilus. Um, so yeah, this is another one. This is very useful. Uh, we use this a lot in the micro lab. The other one is the CNA plate. CNA uh, stands for colistin and nalodixic acid. This is considered um, a selective plate. It fosters the growth of gram-positive bacteria um, and it inhibits the gram-negatives. Although uh, Proteus mirabilis, some strains can make it onto CNA, so just something to keep in mind. All right. And this is the McConkie plate. McConkie uh, acts as both selective and differential and it helps to promote the growth of gram-negative bacteria. It has, um, let's see, it's got lactose, it's got bile salts, a neutral red and crystal violet in it. So it is selective in the sense that it grows only gram-negative, and it is differential in the sense that you can, you can visualize the growth of both um, lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters. So these are the general plates that we use. So that's it for today. Today we covered gram stains as well as uh, general microbiology media. Um, if you have any requests of um, maybe a video that you'd like us to make, maybe there's a topic that you don't quite understand, um, please give me um, a message or an email and I'll see what I can do about that. Okay? Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.